Hello serverless people, welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to show you how to use PenelDB inside step functions. In particular I'm going to use put item to put an item inside the inside a specific PenelDB table. So let's get started and go on the create state machine. And as always you can choose between standard and express. In this case I'm going to choose standard and we are prompt with the workflow studio. So what we need to do now is to uh, go on the action here on the uh, left hand side column. I filter out the DynamoDB. I filter out DynamoDB put item and I paste it in here. Okay, I can call it like um, put item one since we only have this one. So on the configuration of the DynamoDB put item um, node we need to configure the table which is something I already created so I created a, call, a table called parking table because I supposed in a parking use case I want to save all the cars that enter and exit my parking so parking table partition key is parking ID and it's a type string so if I go in here the column is gonna be parking ID string but here pay attention I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the notation dot dollar and I'm gonna explain what it means now and here dollar dot um, parking ID so with the dollar here I am saying to the uh, step functions configuration that I'm expecting a value from the input state in this case it's gonna be a start um, in this case it's the start node but in more complex use cases can be, you know, a lambda function, uh, an SQSQ, something that basically push uh, the JSON file inside the DownDB put item block. Here and say on the JSON input, I expect to use the key called parking ID and put the value of the parking ID inside the parking ID partition key. Next state, go to the end, and then here we can just configure the input output if you want to filter it out. Since this is just a very simple use case, we don't have to filter it. Then we, con we can configure the error handling and the catch errors. Uh, like, for example, I can say retry uh, interval five seconds and max retry to max attempts to re two. For the state, I can just say states all. And once we're done with this, I can just create the, the state machine. So I'm going to click next. As you can see here, we have the format JSON file with our configuration, put item, parking table, parking ID. Here we have the retry block and uh, we have everything that we need. Um, remember that you can, all, you can also download the uh, JSON file and import export based on your necessity. You can also export the uh, SVG or PNG image of your state machine. So I'm going to click next and now I need to um, configure the role. So with, if I select create new role, step function is going to provide me the configuration needed for this step function to run. So the put item uh, permission in this case. So I'm going to just leave it like this. Like I'm going to leave uh, AWS to create what we need. Here is like my example dynamo and then i'm going to click uh, create state machine okay now the, the next step is to test it out the state machine as i said the input is going to have parking id as the key and then i'm going to say here like test one two three four five six and here i can call the execution test one if I start the execution, I should be able to see the result. Yes, yeah, so it went well, succeeded. Yeah, we have the event history. So if we check in here, we receive, you see, the parking ID test 123456. And we should be able to see this item inside DynamoDB table. So let's have a look on our table, parking table. If I go in here, explore table items. Yes, we have it. So just to, to have a confirmation, I'm going to run another execution. But uh, yeah, it's as simple as that to configure um, a DynamoDB node inside your step functions um, state machine. So here I'm going to say just parking ID 2, start execution. I go back in Dynamo and I should see it. Okay, yes, it works. 
All right, folks, um, hope it was useful. Let me know in the comments and uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.